Hey guys, Jacob Dupre here. Today I'm gonna to show you the Ravel Virtual Piano. It's by Universal Audio, and it's a really beautiful piano that they designed specifically to work with Luna, which is their music creation software. I really enjoy playing it as a pianist. I think it has an awesome, very nuanced sound, so I'm excited to show it to you. So since I've been playing this beautiful virtual piano, I've noticed some things about the sound, right? And one of the things I noticed is just the color of the notes and the way they were sampled, which I think sounds really realistic and authentic. I think that's especially noticeable in the extreme ranges. So if I start in the lower end here, it just sounds good to me. In that low A, which can be, I think, sometimes a hard register down here to capture on a virtual instrument, but I think it sounds really real. There's a lot of realism to it. But then in the extreme range on the upper side, I love how beautiful that is. You can hear that resonance. You can hear the string resonance when I have the pedal down. So this is without the pedal. Now with the pedal down. And you'll hear the noise of the pedal depress as well. Hear the other strings resonating around it that kind of like, you know, it's, it's not the pitch of the note I'm playing, but you can hear those other pitches coming in. That's what makes it sound so like wide and vibrant and just awesome up there in that top range because you're hearing that string resonance. Ravel Piano is also very dynamic as well. And whenever I try to test that out when I'm doing a virtual piano demo, I like to kind of, you know, just do some chords and try to go from louder to soft and see just the range that it gives me. So something like this.
a great range of expression and dynamics for a virtual piano especially. Now that we've listened to the piano a little bit, let's check out the interface and look at some of the functions and features of it. So it's actually really simple, right? You've got volume, tone, dynamic range here, reverse mix, reverse length, and mics, which you can change from close to room. And you see you get a really beautiful picture here when you change from close to room. And actually, I'd love to show you that. So I'll go ahead and record in Luna here. And we're recording MIDI. So here's with the mics close. Here's with them to room on the opposite side. So that would be all room tone, right? You can really hear that. Now back to close. Back to room one more time. It's just wonderfully modeled and it, it just sounds great and very realistic to me. But other than that, this is really all you have. You know, you have your master volume here and then these few settings, but powerful settings, I think they make a big difference. The mic especially, the miking um, setting is very cool. I like that. Other than these controls that are right here on the surface, you have a settings wheel here that you can click. And here's a few more settings that you can control. You have the tuning for the instrument, so you can change that from A440 to, you could go to 442 if you wanted to, or go down 438. But we're going to keep it at 440. You can change the polyphony. You have large, medium, or eco economy, so that probably you would change that depending on your computer speed, right? Or your processing power. Maybe eco just makes your computer work better and gives you less chance of a glitch or a slowdown or something like that. Silent note velocity, you can change there. Pedal sound volume, so you can set that to medium low, or you can turn it off. So if you don't like that sound of the pedal, which I'll play it for you again. You can turn on continuous pedal if you do have a digital pedal that will allow you to do half damper techniques like you can do on an acoustic piano. A lot of damper pedals, a lot of sustain pedals for digital pianos only allow you to do on off for sustain, right? So it's either you're sustaining or you're not. But on an acoustic piano, you can do some kind of cool techniques to get some half sustain, half damper techniques that we call them. So that's what that allows you to do. Then you have resonance to reverse option here and you can change your highest dynamic range. You can set it to off, to limit, limited, or full. Hope you enjoyed this quick look at the Ravel piano. If you have any questions about it, please comment below. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Click here for more videos like these or go to sweetwater.com for all your music instrument and pro audio needs.